Hey, everybody. Ace, say hi. Ace, Ace, say hi. Look here. You see yourself? Look. Ace, Ace Apu, look here. Who is that? Who is that? Say hi. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes. Oops. Here comes the, uh, oh gosh, here comes the gravel driver. Hold on. Let me see if I'm in his way. I'm sure I am. Let me move out of the way. I'm sure he wants to go over here. Where's he going to? Oh, he's dumping. Okay. He's he's dumping dirt. Okay. Okay. Hello. Oh, sugar. He's coming over here. I'm going to get out of his way because he's following me. Ooh. Okay, let's go over here on Laguna. Okay. Here we go. Let's pull right in here. Okay. This is where I was going anyway. So, um, let me get over here where it's safe and sound. Ah! Okay. Um, I just come from out of the forest. Um, and we're hooting and hollering with, uh, Rebecca over there. God, she's a mess. Um, I won't tell her age, but let me tell you something. She does not look her age at all. You know what? I think they did move that. I, I get out and I swear. I, hold on a second. Hold on. Am I in your way? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll add this to the video. I'll be right back. Well, hold on. I, I think it's gone. I, I, I don't know what they're doing. Okay. Okay. Let me start again. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes. Let me put this in park. And let me put... Um, my hair's a mess. Everything's going on. Look. Truck over there. I'm in the Jeep. Uh, truck's over there. Got everybody. Oh, my gosh. There's so much stuff going on. It's crazy. I've got Ace. He ran up to the, the Jeep in the forest and wanted in. So... Cardi just went by him and Mary. Anyway, I am so sleepy. I went with my son today. He's working here. My youngest son is working here part, not part time. He works full time, but he's working here. And we went to Mexican today for lunch. Excuse me. And I remember, I've got to look over here. And uh, we went to lunch today and um, I got so sleepy after eating Mexican. Oh my gosh. I got a taco salad and I got some rice and I mean it has oh you can see in my eyes I mean it's just it's clocked me out right so anyway what I wanted to show you is just really really exciting um I just posted a tour well I hope it posted it, it I'm sure it did but anyway the house that left yesterday that I did a live tour of it yesterday morning um I also did uh, pictures and stuff like that. I am trying to look over here, but it is hard because when you can't see yourself, it's very weird. Um, um, so anyway, um, I did, took a lot of pictures of the house that left yesterday, which is a 9 by 18 uh, Freedom, and it had the, the dark blue, the LP siding. Oh, it wasn't called Indigo, but it was called eh, something like that. But anyway, it's one of the dark, it's the dark blue of the... Um, the dark blue of the um, thing. Oh, there's Alyssa. Here, watch this. The dark blue of the LP siding. Alyssa, look, I'm doing a video. Perfect. You want to say, can you see yourself high? And see, look, do you see that dot right there? See, I was trying to turn it around. Like, can I flip it? I can't flip it back around on myself. Like, isn't that weird? So what I'm doing is I'm doing a video and then I'm switching it. I'm, I'm just, just, well, stopping it and then starting another video. Just put it all together. That's all I'm going to do. Just throw it all together. So anyway, that's what me and Alyssa do. We just throw stuff all together. So Alyssa's leaving. Everybody tell Alyssa bye. Bye, Alyssa. Bye. She's had enough of this day. Be careful. <laughs> anyway, oh my gosh. The days here, you would just, you wouldn't even, I don't even know how to explain it. She doesn't know how to explain it. Amber, she's like on screen patrol. There ain't none of us knows what's to do. Um, anyway. So anyway, so I posted uh, the video yesterday. I did the tour of, of the 9x18 um, Freedom. John took it to Pennsylvania. I'm pretty sure that's where it went. I never really did confirm that, but it was up on the board. Um, so I'm pretty sure it went to Pennsylvania. Um, it was blue on blue, the trim and the and the siding. It was really pretty. Uh, you know, most of the time people will pick a different color siding, you know, to trim it out. Kind of like um, that one right there. And I'll show it to you in just a minute. See how the different siding and then you have a little trim well they did the same color they did blue on blue a dark blue on dark blue and it looked really nice they had a, an ivy green 
roof or you know I, i'm pretty sure it was ivy or hunter or something but it was really a dark green so um <clears throat> but anyway i posted that earlier just a little while ago so because i didn't have like a live tour person like a homeowner tour set up so i went ahead and did that so you could see <clears throat> all the details i've been trying to do that with all the homes taking a bunch of pictures even if it looks like a picture that doesn't look like you know pretty pretty picture um i've been showing like the plumbing and the exhaust fans and uh, you know, just different things, just because you might want to know where we, where do we put this? What does it look like? What does an air exchanger look like? What kind of ceiling fans do you put in there? So I've been taking some pictures that you'd be like, oh, what you put, what you post that picture for? So, well, just so you can see everything that goes in there. What I wanted to show you today, okay? I'm on the beach right now. I'm going to show you what is getting ready to be that already has power on the beach and what's getting ready to have power on the beach. And then I'm going to show you the prairie, okay? Because I said, I've got to show that today. So, um, let me get my glasses on. I, I swear, my eyes get real squinty. I, I just wear sunglasses all the time. And um, so, it gets uh, gets my eyes real sensitive. So, I, me and Tom are the same way. Tom wears sunglasses all the time, too. I have to put my window down because my thing's broke. My handle's broke. So, I have to put my window down um, by opening it from the outside. Okay. Are you going to stay in there? Okay, because I think he's going He's going to go back home with me because I'm going to go home after this video. Okay, so let me see if I can turn this around. It won't turn around, and I don't know how you turn it around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video. Look at Ace. Look at Ace of Pooh. Then my buddy. Okay. Uh, Randy is still in Kentucky. He'll be back tomorrow. Um, so he'll be on the video tomorrow. So I take Ace home with me. Um, but I'm going to stop this video and then I'm going to start the other one and I'll just put the two together. So we'll just do that. So, um, you want to say anything? We're not going to be seen no more. You want to say anything? Well, you might be seen. I won't be seen. All right. Let me, let me stop this and then I'll start the new video and show you what I want to show you. All right. Bye. Okay. And we're back. Okay. So let me just kind of show you the over there. Oh, there's Tim over there. Hi. Okay. So they're dumping gravel with the bobcat over there and they're they're putting all kinds of gravel and stuff over there at the prairie i'll show you that in just a moment okay so here i am on laguna where's the sign well it's over there. oh let's see that one's got the sign right there laguna way so just to give you a perspective so here is the main road right there industrial road you're going to come in at the trees and you're going to come down tiny town way okay you're going to come in take an immediate right that's malibu going in there there's 18 houses nine on this side nine on the other come on down here where i'm at this is laguna way okay so right here at laguna you're going to go straight in this is what already has power okay listen up this is the lots that already have power so the homeowners can turn on their power it's ready to go right here 235 Laguna Way. Okay? Very first one on the right. 235. It is ready to go. 235 ready to go. Curtis is going to go in this lot. Curtis is over in the forest right now. So we're going to be moving his house pretty soon. We'll get a hold of him. Tell him. Uh, Kelly may have already gotten a hold of him, but we'll let Curtis know. He is ready to go. We're ready to move his house. Um, I don't know if we'll get to do it tomorrow, but I'm sure we'll do it next week. But he's ready to go. Curtis will be here. This is a Clemens house. He's actually on his lot. So, right there is Clemens 233. That is the house that is supposed to be there. This is his lot. So, he is ready to go. They are ready to hook up uh, to their house as well, okay? Joy's house right here. We have moved the container. This was originally Bryce's 8x40 container. We always called it Bryce's container. It is now Joy's container. So we're going to stop calling it Bryce's container. This is Joy's container. It is hooked up to water, power, and sewer. She is the first one that has come to the beach and she was the first one to move in. She will be back, I think, um, tomorrow or something or tonight she's gonna be back she is ready to go full on ready to go okay next we're actually going to put 
Oh my gosh, I don't have my paper with me, but I'm almost positive, okay, Cindy Brand is gonna be moving in here. Uh, well, her lot is over there somewhere. I don't know which lot, okay? As a courtesy, we're gonna put her right here uh, because hers is gonna be hooked up like next, like she's coming Saturday, okay? So I said, let's go ahead, hook her up where there's water and power. She was bringing her generator, but it's like, you know what? Let's go ahead, put her on some power, water and all that stuff. She'll be moving over there the next week. Let's just get her in, you know, get the, get her going. She'll be right here just for about a week or two, okay? Then, none of these houses go here, okay? But, see where they have the globes to them? Everybody has their globe. That one has its globe. That one has its globe. That one has it. So, on down through here, down to, that's 227, 225. Let me see if the other one has it. Okay, to, to 225 and down. So all of those have their globes. We are, these have already been approved. We are just waiting for the globes for these, okay? And they have all been inspected. We are just waiting on the globe. So we should, everybody should have power next week. All these with no globes, we should have the globes and hopefully should have power next week. And this would be 18, 18 on the beach. will be ready to go. But like I said, right now, we have one, two, three, four, God, I'm a slow walker. Four, five, six. Six are ready to go right now. We are beyond excited. We are so, we have been waiting for this day forever. We've been waiting on it, right? Everybody has. Okay, so I'm gonna jump back into, um, that's all for right now on here. Then we're gonna hop over there. Cardi's gonna be over there um, next week and he's gonna start on the other side, which will be Malibu way. So I'm gonna jump in the Jeep. I'm gonna drive up through here and I'm gonna show you what's going on at the prairie, okay? Hold on just a second. I mean, Ace is ready to go home. He's ready to go to the house. Okay. And it has, look, it has been stunning weather. It has been hardly any humidity, okay? It has been beautiful. Let me get turned around here. <laughs> you have to be careful because I don't know, some of them still got big chuck holes and stuff like that, and I just want to make sure <laughs> that I pull the right spot, don't get stuck. They have to get the uh, tow motor or something like that and have to get me out. You know, <laughs> they got all kinds of stuff. That's why, you know, it's not safe for anybody to walk around all around the construction until we get it all kind of straightened up. You just don't know what's sticking up where. Okay. So we are going out of Malibu Way. This is the way you'll be going in and out for now. Okay. Because um, the, the other side is going to be closed off. So this will be the only entrance. So you come in, come down, and you're going to take a left into... Malibu Way or uh, Laguna Way, okay? Let's go down through here. This one, I don't know how far I can get, but this one is gonna be next, okay? So he's, uh, Cardi has took care of all of those over there, and this will be the next 18, and this will fill up the beach. There is 36 all together. So, um, let me put my window down here. Let me kind of get out and show you here too. I have to open my thing. God, it's gorgeous outside. All right, let me just kind of show you, pan around. This is Malibu. And listen, it does not look like, you know, people uh, have said, oh, I don't look like a beach, blah, blah, blah. You just wait. You hide and watch. All these people are gonna take their spot like they did in the forest and they're gonna decorate it. I made a suggestion, I have not talked to Randy about this, but I thought, and I'm gonna ask him if it's okay. It may not be okay, I'm not, I don't know if, I, if it's right or not. But I thought, I was like, if I had my own little square, my own little spot at the beach, I would paint my concrete, right? 
paint it whatever color I wanted to. You can put some astro turf. You can do whatever you want to, right? But um, I thought I would probably maybe paint my concrete. I will ask him if that's okay. I have not asked him that. I've not talked to him about that. But I thought of it. I was talking to Mishka. Pandy and Becky last night. They're so sweet too. They're always out and about and the girls Beth and everybody's all running around and, and Michelle. They're all very, very nice. Michelle uh, Wynn. They're all lovely ladies and you're going to really enjoy uh, meeting a lot of these people around here. The people out in the forest and the people up through here and everything. But, um, but yeah, I mentioned it to them and I was like, why couldn't you just paint your little concrete spot? You know, whatever color. Maybe put some designs on it or I don't know. Why Why couldn't you? You know, especially if you're going to be there for a long time. Do what you want to. I don't know. I'll ask Randy. We'll double check it, but I couldn't imagine it wouldn't be okay. Anyway, so I'm going to lobby for it anyway. Okay. Let's get turned around. You want to go over here at the beach? I mean, over here at the prairie? Um, Ace loves the prairie. This is where he goes and chases all of his birds. He loves all his birds. Um, we've got somebody already, have we got him moved in too? I think he might be, but he's not hooked up completely to power and stuff yet. Uh, but we've got another customer that's already here. Uh, Joy was here first, but he was next. I think he's here. Well, no, he's not there. He's over there. I, I'm not sure where he's at. His house is somewhere, uh, Michael's house, but I don't know where it's at. Okay, now let's take a right. Let's go up here. Here's a little mail shed that we have as a courtesy just for right now. Um, I do want to mention something to everyone. There's for people, that's like the little mail shed if you want to use it, if not, get a P.O. box. The little black box is for payments and things like that. It is a locked box and uh, you can drop whatever you want in there. Uh, your, any kind of checks for anything or any kind of notes or anything like that, so that's fine, we'll get it. Up here at the very end, look at our tiny, look at our tiny stop sign. <laughs> that is hilarious. Look at that tiny stop sign right there. And when we get all the houses and everything um, put where it needs to be, you know, we'll put the stop sign where it needs to be and everything in the proper place. Everything is, it's just going to take some time to get there, okay? So what I'm going to do, I was going to tell you something else. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. Okay, about the mail, right? Let me get over here and park and let me show you the, uh, let me show you the prairie. Hold on, Pankin. Okay. And this is where the future lodge is going to be. There's so much stuff that's happening that people said, oh, that ain't never going to happen. Well, you know what? It's going to happen. So quit being a negative ninny and, and have a good life for goodness sakes. Quit dropping and complaining. Okay. So, um, like I tell my kid, go be ugly somewhere else. Um, uh, Amber has talked to the UPS driver, okay? Now, this is important, everybody that lives here. Um, Amber has talked to the UPS driver. He said he will come in. He'll come in, and he will go to all of your houses and deliver your packages. He said that. All you have to do, you cannot put anything to do with 850 Industrial Road, excuse me, and you can't put anything that says Incredible Tiny Homes. Put your address down and your name. He said he will come to your house. The UPS people did. FedEx people, I ain't got no idea. But um, UPS said that they would do it. So, give it a try, right? Okay, so here's the gate coming in, right? Look what Yump has been doing today, or the past couple of days. Ours, Tim. Tim's driving that fork. I mean, that uh, dump truck back and forth, back and forth. God love him. Got the boys here with the bobcats. Look at the road. I've got to come over here. I've got to walk over here. I saw it earlier. I hope y'all can hear me. Um, I saw it earlier. And I said, I've got to show everybody. The roads are in. Look at, look at Tim down there driving on the road. Randy's not seen this yet. He's been gone for two days. Look at that, Tim. Now, I can't remember which is which. Which one's Tombstone and which one's uh, the other one. There's Tim. He's so sweet. Uh, these are some hard-working guys that we got. I'm telling you what. And Yump, he knows what he's doing like he knows what he's doing. Him and Randy have been a team for over 
25 years and um oh my god i'm so excited i could just cry i wish randy was here because it's just something we've waited for for so long look at this look at the road can you see it i got my sunglasses on i hope you can see everything oh my god it's actual gravel look there's his sewer there's his sewer he loves i mean it's like <laughs> it's it's really hey that's my son right there that's my baby boy he's 20 oh he's about to be 25 lord of mercy but anyway this is just so exciting um it just is I, honestly i could cry because it's just been such a long time coming and it just took a lot of planning and effort and waiting and waiting and waiting and permits and things not going right and you can't do this and this ain't going to happen and then you have you know all the negativity about it and but it's sold out i mean everybody every lot is taken every lot is taken people are going to live here they're gonna be here. We're gonna have 166 people here. And this is, for the majority of them, it is their forever home. That is just moving. I swear it just kinda almost brings me to tears because it's like, it, none of this was ever intended. It was never ever talked about. Um, all we were gonna do is build some homes, make a little money and uh, try to dig ourselves out of a, um, a bad situation and um, six years later look where we're at I, I can't even believe it there's yump see yump over there he's over there digging i mean they are hard at it and um, this costs way 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 more than what we anticipated but you know what it's just gonna it's gonna work out and it's gonna come it's gonna come about look at the tree line down through there look how pretty that is behind that tree line and going all the way around there going all the way into the forest coming all the way around back here and then coming around through here that's the milligan mile so the people everybody's going to get to enjoy the whole area everybody see yump over there? he's over there measuring getting out oh my god this is just beautiful i know gloria gloria is coming to the prairie michelle wins coming to the prairie there's a lot of people excited about coming to the prairie they're gonna to get to walk the roads. I mean, they're gonna just, it's just beautiful. I, I'm just, it's really happening. It's just amazing. And you know, we wanna do something really special out here. We've been thinking about doing some carvings, you know, like some chainsaw art, uh, things like that. Uh, like maybe have some buffalo and have some cool stuff. I mean, it takes time to do all that stuff. The main thing is to get the big stuff in right now. We're talking the main deal got to have the roads the water the power sewer all that stuff's in i mean the roads is the last thing you do and then you put your driveways in and <laughs> it's just exciting i cannot tell you you know we might have people guess that might be a fun thing to do we might have to total up how many loads of gravel has it taken um for this development how many loads of gravel have we uh, had to put in in uh, in the forest and here so we may total that up that might be a, uh, like a little game or something that we a little contest that we have win something for that so anyway be studying on something like that kind of get a, a leg up on it there goes jojo bye joe hey lord joe he runs for us he does all kinds of stuff He's got, he takes my mower and oh Lord, he helps me with so many things and Randy and it's just amazing. But look where the Jeep is right there. That is where the lodge is going to be. It's going to be beautiful. Randy built a huge, well, he built two big barns on Brothers Cove property. And they had a huge fireplace. He would put trees in there and burn them. It was amazing. And he wants to do something with a lot of glass really pretty somewhere for everybody to be able to come to relax sit together just a nice lodge where everybody can kind of congregate right and just to mention for will and becky <clears throat> that are doing the on-site sales when you come now when you come in we're going to put some gravel ask um yump to put some gravel there park right there and then they'll come they've been parking people under the the trees the shade trees that's fine as well because it's been hot 
and then they'll come up here with the golf cart and they'll meet you up here, okay? So we're trying to get a little bit of a system with all the chaos. It's hard, but man, they're doing a fantastic job. Look at them with the golf cart right there. See, Anna? See down through there? They're driving their golf cart. The red golf cart is theirs. The orange one is ours, so. But I wanted to come today and show you this. It's just such a big deal. Um, the road and I can't wait till Randy sees it tomorrow Let me kind of go back here just to show you one last time before I go But I'm so excited There's 50 I think it ended up being 50 lots over here at the um, At the prairie His mom is gonna come over here. He has a lot for her set aside I mean, look, wow, I'm just, I, I just seen it and it's just, it's a, it's awesome. Um, a lot of houses have been leaving. A lot of houses have been finished. They're leaving. Things are really coming together. We're really excited. I know it seems like it's took a long time and it really has, but it is going to get there. It is going to be beautiful. It's going to be a place where everybody is going to want to be. They're really going to want to be here, enjoy being here, and it's going to be people who really want to have that community living, community life for everyone. Um, you know, to have your neighbor and to visit your neighbors, and then you can go back to your um, to your lot and have your own little private time if you need to. You know, you'll have your little area, and then you'll have the opportunity to go and just visit when you want to you know so it's it's amazing i just want to show everybody and back here is the lake the we call it i know a lot of people are making fun of it but it is um a little pond back here water that's coming up from the ground okay so randy's going to try and make a little pond back here like he has over there we kind of call it a little tiny lake lake lot over there and um so I just want you to see everything. It is just gorgeous. Beautiful day. Look at the sky. Oh, let me show you this road over here. Let's kind of go. Let's see how far it is over here. Because they're just, they're just trying to finish this one road. Let me, oh good, look here. We can see what's underneath it. Let's go look really quick. I don't want to, I don't think you're bored. I think you do want to know this stuff. I know I'm not, it's different whenever Randy's not on here, but I just kind of want to show you as much as I can. Look at this. So here's the fabric that they're talking about. This felt stuff. There's the number on it. I don't know if that means anything. Right? But look at that. Here's the next road. So it's a great big wide uh, long roll just rolled out. Isn't that cool? So that's what it is. That's what's on top of it. And that's what, look, look how thick it is. Man, that's amazing. I mean, it takes it. It's very expensive, but it's just the, it's just the way it is. That's the way development is. That's just the way it goes. The trees back there, beautiful. Milligan Mile, back through there. There's a development across the street. That is the 160 acres over there. Just gorgeous. Just beautiful. I mean, what a day. Well, what I did is I actually screenshotted a lot of your questions from yesterday's video. I will do the same again. And tomorrow, when Randy is here, um... I'll, we'll read them off when we'll try to do that with all the videos. So we'll just catch up. And so if you have any comments or questions, be sure and put them, um, put them in today and then we will do our best to answer them tomorrow. So just wanted to show you this, share this with you. We'll go over the houses. We'll go over what is actually going on up there in Kentucky. He's been there for a couple of days. So We'll find out. I know that he has, let me see if I can remember some of the names he's got up there. He's got a Seeley Morris. He has got a McBee. He has got um, 
Welchheimer or something. I can't remember too much. He's got Duvall. Um, I think he has Bonnie. Or uh, has Alan. I think last name's Alan. Um, so, and I can't remember the others, but I will try to read that list tomorrow so everybody will kind of know where everybody's at. I know it's kind of, it's more of a challenge that you don't get to see the house being built when it's up in uh, Kentucky because of the Amish and with their, with their um, religion and things like that, that they can't be on film. But um, at least, um, you know, I, he can take some pictures of the house and stuff like that. So, so you can kind of see, it, you know, what the progress a little bit. And I know that people are getting who are, who have their houses active and we're in the process of building um, you are getting to see pictures um, on co-construct so be sure and go to your co-construct and you'll be able to see uh, pictures there the guys have gotten way 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 better about pictures and they're sending pictures and a lot of communication which is really nice so I'm gonna let you go um, I think everybody's winding down and it's the end of the day but I wanted to share that with you and I hope you enjoyed the video it's Thursday uh, Randy will be back tomorrow and we will come with another video and tour some more houses so over there's Josh everybody's wrapping it up all right everybody thank you and have a good day